Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most holy night, our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. The Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. We remember his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in our God. Start praying. Can you hear it? <laughs> Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may the Lord guard us and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ rising in glory banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. like to follow me into church and pick up your rapturely things on the way.
Tom will sing us the ancient hymn of Easter. Christians everywhere 
Wash clean of sin and free from all defilement. Are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life have been to us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us! How boundless your merciful love! To ransom a slave you gave away your son. Oh, happy fall! Oh, necessary scene of Adam, which came for us so great a redeemer. Most blessed of all nights, chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, the night will be clear as day, it will become my light, my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil. Washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. It casts out hatred, brings us peace, and humbles earthly pride. Night's truly blessed when heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our living sacrifice of praise. Your church is solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, a flame divided but undimmed. A pillar of fire that grows to the honour of God. Let it mingle with the lights of heaven and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star, which never sets, find this place divine. Christ, the morning star, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind, your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. As we await the risen Christ, let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in history, recalling how he saved his people in ages past, and in the fullness of time sent his Son to be our Redeemer. Let us pray that through this Easter celebration, God called the dome the sky, 
and there was evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And so it was. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let there be signs and for seasons and for days and for years, and let there be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth, across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves, of every kind with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill and fill the waters in the sea and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. <clears throat> and it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, and <coughs> fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree <coughs> in its with seed in its you shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and 
and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering, and set out, and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. 
Isaac said to his father Abraham, Father, and he said, Here I am, my son. He said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the water on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his knife hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessings for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose chosen servant Abraham faithfully obeyed your call and rejoiced in your promise, that in him all the families of the earth should be blessed. Give us a faith like his, that in us your promise may be fulfilled. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They have said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians, from whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. But you lift up your staff, and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, so that they will go in after them, and so will gain glory to myself over Pharaoh and to all of his army, his chariots and his chariot drivers. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gained glory for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them, and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel, and so the cloud was there in, with the darkness, and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. 
The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot doors so they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, let us flee from the Israelites for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched his hand out over the sea. And at dawn, the sea returned to its normal depth as the Egyptians fled before it. The Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw that the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and his servant Moses. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Moses to lead them out of slavery. 
Free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our promised land, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Reading from the prophet Isaiah. Oh, everyone who is thirsty, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader, a commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not, you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon them. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are not your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. <coughs> this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We hear from Ezekiel. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Then he brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There was water flowing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east. The temple faced east. And the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me round on the outside to the outer gate that faces towards the east. And the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured 1,000 cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured 1,000, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured 1,000, and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured 1,000, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows towards the eastern region and goes down into the outer, and when it enters the sea, of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be many, very many fish. Once the 
clean waters reach there. It will become fresh and everything will live with a river grow. People will stand fishing beside the sea from Engedi to Enel Bay, and it will be a place for people spreading of nets. Its fish will be of a great many kinds, like the fish of the great sea. But its swamps and marshes will not become fresh. They are to be left for salt. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. that we who are born again may serve you in faith and love and grow in the full stature of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Would you please stand? Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> we sing the Gloria. <laughs>
New Testament reading. A reading from Paul's letter, letter to the Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptised into Christ Jesus were baptised into his death? Therefore we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in death like his, we will certainly be united with him in the resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that for that body of sin might be destroyed. We do, and we might know, no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But we have died with Christ. We believe we will also live with him, we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin, once for all. But the death, he, the life he lives, he lives to God. To you all must consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Then he went home, 
amazed at what had happened. This is the Gospel of the Lord. risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. Alleluia, alleluia. And also with you. Alleluia. to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. So, in the joy of this Passover, heaven and earth resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and all the powers of creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. <laughs>
the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. His perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Blessed Mary and all your saints, may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. 
Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. God of life, who through our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection has delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in, his jo in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for leaving us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out to the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. 